Hi, I'm Stefan Döhler. I'm a Group Manager and Standards Engineer at Fraunhofer IIS in Erlangen, Germany. At Fraunhofer, we've developed multiple technologies in the field of audio. Well known should be our contributions to the MP3 and AAC audio codecs, and also MPEG-H audio, LC3+, and the FreeGPP Enhanced Voice Services codec, also known simply as the EVS codec, the currently best performing speech codec used in mobile telephony. I've been one of the delegates for Fraunhofer active in the FreeGPP standardization of the EVS codec. The standardization effort resulted in multiple specs that were finalized in 2014. The specifications consist, besides for example the algorithmic description, also of the ANSI C source code of the EVS codec for fixed point and floating point. While the floating point code is important for general purpose applications, especially for fixed point code, is of high interest to the industry. It allows low power DSP implementations. Also, conformance testing for fixed point is much easier than for floating point. That's simply because the fixed point code is based on the so called basic operators that have well defined behavior, and the conformance criterion is bit exactness. Having this defined behavior and allowing no deviations really ensures that implementations are conforming. At some point, Cadence approached us and others because they felt the existing fixed point code is suboptimal for newer DSP architectures because it's based on this rather old instruction set for basic operators. Cadence then proposed to add extra instructions that better reflect today's DSPs, including, for example, 64 bit and complex arithmetics, as well as SIMD optimized instructions. The first version we saw from Cadence was already performing very well, and we knew it would be non bit exact due to the use of the newly added instructions that simply have sometimes a different behavior. We then worked with Cadence to review the optimizations. We gave them the information about sensitive sections that need to be handled with care, and from there, they further improved the alternative EVS fixed point code to ultimately behave identically to the legacy fixed point code for the test vectors and also for general content. Without sacrificing the optimization potential, this really was a great outcome because it gives confidence to the industry that the alternative fixed point code doesn't come with degraded quality, but now there's also the option of a code that's based on better performing instructions for nowadays DSPs. Finally, multiple FreeGPP member companies, including us, conducted listening tests, and we also ran multiple objective tests to validate Cadence work on the alternative fixed point implementation. Also, P863 was employed to run huge database on the alternative code. Ultimately, we were really happy with the alternative fixed point code. It was published as FreeGPP TS26452, and we believe it contributes to further use of the EVS codec. This is in the interest of the industry and the customers, allowing high-quality voice calls with mobiles. Thank you.